so we're running fades. All right, hey, I'm gonna play Deep Woken for four hours straight and try to get to level 30. Let's see where this goes. Now I know four hours in Deep Woken sounds pretty normal so far, right? There's a twist. I'm actually going to try to kill people. Usually I know this is a bit different from my other Deep Woken videos. I have rogue P I have rogue PTSD, okay? I see I see somebody coming for me, you know, it, I'm like kill what immediately if I if I think there's a battle I can't win, a foot switches in my head and I and I run. Alright? I am the sword saint. I have a reputation to keep. No more of that. No more of that scaredy cat cowardice running. If I see a person and they don't look like they're level 50, I gank them. Oh, and before this video starts, feel free to feel free to hit like the like the sub button, you know, just for me. Like, if you're not gonna do it for yourself, do it for me. You know, it benefits you, but like, if you're not gonna do it for you, do it for me. You know, I would really appreciate it. Real close to a thousand, you know, just do it, just do it. And feel free to leave a comment like, oh, dude, like, yeah, man, uh, good job, bro. Like, if you really like this video, you know, leave a like or or you know, or feel free to comment, bro. <laughs> I can get to level 30 in, in, in 40 minutes because I know there's going to be some of those. You know, a comment, whatever you want, bro. Just let me know you're there. Starting off, you'll, you'll immediately see that I'm level 2. I did some streaming yesterday. Did a little tiny bit of progressing. I'm not telling you to go watch the stream, but you know, I, it, it is there. You know, if you want a little bit more context before we fully start. I'm already level 2. I have this really OP scarf that gives me 25 HP and then a green headband that gives me 18 HP. So I'm, I'm already off to a good start. First thing I did was head to the Bandit Fortress, and I leveled up and I got three magic cards, a Mystery Mantra, Revenge, and Master's Flourish. The Mystery Mantra was a random agility mantra, so we all know what that is. It's just dash, it's not random. It, it, it's literally the only possible mantra that it could be. With the build that I'm going for, there's only two possible combat mantras that I can get because I'm not putting anything to strength. I'm putting everything into medium weapon mastery, agility, Fortitude and Willpower. So Revenge and Master's Flourish are the only two combat mantras I'm going to be able to get for my entire run. That's why this challenge is so interesting. So I'll end up getting both of them eventually. Next I fought some upgraded Mud Skippers. They're pretty easy but you gotta be careful gripping these guys. They die upon death. Alright so this next part is a bit iffy. Alright you know I was going down. I was going down to the mine to get some coal to get some rock to get some flint. You know I gotta stay prepared. And then I saw this guy who was running from from some of the mud skippers, and I, I swore he must have been low, and so I tried to finesse him for luck, right? And you know, I was kind of selling, I was kind of selling. Um, someone else came, and then I, I turned around to get a, to 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 chop down a tree to make a campfire so I could heal while they were fighting. And then uh, then a sharko showed up. I had to run, run past them so sharko aggro on them. I ran into the cave. A, a mud skipper followed me. And then I may have gotten gripped by the mud skipper, bro. It's it was lag. You know, if it, if that if my ping was fine, it wouldn't have even been a problem. That musket musket would have been easy, bro. Don't I'm not trash. I promise it was like I got warriors or spike here, so that's pretty cool. When I got back to Arisia, I tried to fight a mudskipper, not a mudskipper, <laughs> a Sharko that was at the front of the gate. And all right, just just watch how this goes. So yeah, that, that didn't go too well. But uh, you know, in my shame and embarrassment, I bought myself some armor and threw myself off a cliff and into the depths. A little qu a quirk, you know, a little thing I like to do before I actually like press play while I'm in the depths is I like to press F3 first, or I, I like to open up the little bar console at the top of the screen to look at my ping. Before I actually join in the server, you, you do get a couple of seconds of force field when you join, even though you can't see it. But I always like to check my ping before I join, so I know if it's a decent server. 
After a couple of trials and tribulations, I managed to make it to the lift to get to the surface. The gods there called me detestable and they told me to go to my room. After getting back to the surface, I got into this really, actually really good server. Like it's my, it's close to my region and it just started. So it was a really good server. I sailed back to Arisia to go get the glider blueprint schematic. And then some mudskipper spawned and I figured, oh, well, I might as well get some EXP while I'm here. And then this guy, Wayne Tarsus, decided to waltz on in and try to take one of my kills. And I was like, oh, okay. So we're running phase. Well, I don't mean to brag, I don't want to be too proud of myself, but I think that went pretty well. Got some luck out of it as well. After that, I went down to the cave and mined some coal and some stone so I can make some flint. And then I went through the cave. I went through the viper's jaw and encountered some, and encountered some pirates there. The first two I killed pretty easily as long as I was outside the little time slow thing that the captain does. But the captain himself, I was not ready to fight, apparently, because I was I was getting finesse. I don't, I don't know what's happening. And then the RNG guys blessed me and left me with one, like, I couldn't even see my HP. And he was stuck doing his 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 time slow move. And I just, I just ran past him, got up, chopped down a tree and made a campfire. After I got the blueprint and I was full HP, I went back down, found him again, and then finished him off. And so, you know, everything ended pretty decently. I noticed that my character was able to run through whatever that stuff is and not take any damage and so I, I dipped my toes in it and I was like yep th that water is in fact hot. I was feeling spicy so I went over to the cave to fight some Sharkos and I ran into this bag right near the Sharko cave and I was like hmm is this a warning for the upcoming future? I did go in to fight some Sharkos and you know that went okay. I stood watch right here instead of actually inside the cave so I could look at the entrance. I was being wary of drip report. But trust me, if they came for me, the only kind of drip they'd be reporting is zero blood. Ah! Honestly, you took way too long to kill. I'm kind of ashamed of myself. Well, <laughs> this usually goes faster if you're like good at the game, but I think I'll end the video there. If you like this kind of video or you want to see a longer version of it or a shorter version of it or you want to see a different kind of video just let me know in the comments you know it's best to write while you know i'm still not getting a ton of comments and i can check over all of them because i always do read my comments and i really do appreciate when you guys comment and you know, like the video so i really appreciate the watch remember like the video if you like the video and i'll see you guys in the next one